Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be making bread and I'm excited because it's my first time and I can't wait to see how it turns out. So, watch till the end. Alright, it's time. So let me put the main ingredients on screen for you. We have yeast, sugar, salt, flour, milk, oil, butter and egg. So if you're following us, just ensure that you have all of that before you begin. It's always good to wash your hands before you get in the kitchen, of course. As you can see, we have our measuring cup. We're going to measure out one cup of milk. We're going to be using almond milk, but you can use regular milk if you like. We're then going to pour the milk into a cup, add a tablespoon of sugar, and we're using brown sugar. And you know, you gotta mix it up, mix it up. <laughs> we're gonna add that to the microwave for a minute, or it's better to add it for a minute and a half to get it warm and nice, not too hot, okay? Warm. Once it is finished, we're going to be adding two teaspoon of active dry yeast this is how it looks and of course we gotta mix it up when we're done we're gonna put it down for about eight to ten minutes and it should look for me when it is ready in the meantime, we're going to get a, a bowl, a nice big bowl, <laughs> and we're going to add all our dry ingredients. So the first thing we're going to add is three cups of flour. By the way, all purpose flour should be good for this. My first cup was a bit short, so I'm going to add a little bit more flour to the bowl. The next thing we're going to do is add a quarter cup of sugar. And you guys might be wondering, why am I saying we? Who is this we? But actually, I would be wrong if I said that I was doing this alone. I was actually getting assistance from my cousin. So, yeah, I gotta give props where props is due. But, you know, I gotta say we. <laughs> And you guys are following me too, so it's we were in this together. The next thing we're gonna do is add some salt. We're gonna add two teaspoons of salt, guys. I think one teaspoon is good enough, or one and a half, all right? Because this looks like a lot of salt. By the way, I'm using pink Himalayan salt, you know, some fancy razzle dazzle in it but you can use regular salt yeah and then of course we're going to cornwall mix it up and store it well you have to be jamaican to get that job but yeah we're gonna mix all the dry ingredients together and ensure that it is e they are evenly distributed so you don't want to taste salt in one side you know so you gotta mix it up properly guys at this point i'm really feeling like a pro Without a doubt, I am a pro. And next, we're going to start out the butter. We're gonna get half cup of butter melted. Guys, I don't know if the butter in Jamaica has the measurements, but it's almost half stick of butter. How long it stays in the microwave depends on how soft the butter is. If you had it in the fridge, you can take it out before you start baking. Maybe about a minute or 30 seconds in the microwave basically just use your discretion but of course before you add it to the dry ingredients you need to cool down first so the yeast is ready the butter is ready and we're gonna get an egg first thing we're gonna do though is add the melted butter look at the grease and of course we're adding those to the dry ingredients that we, that we previously mixed up 
look at how that looks all right so next is the egg guys you see me here cracking the egg and just adding it to the mixture don't do that um, I think it's best for you to add the egg to a bowl then add it to the ingredients it will be better that way that way you will not risk getting any egg eggshells into it well luckily I did not get any in mine <laughs> like you know I'm a pro <laughs> You can also use a knife which is sharper to crack the egg. And of course I'm then going to add the yeast. To me yeast has a like a musty scent. <laughs> I was very surprised at how the scent it, it's not too strong but it wasn't really so much of a pleasant pleasant smell to me but anyway it wasn't that bad. You hear that guys you need to add some muscle while mixing up the the ingredients um and sure you put some energy into it yeah <laughs> at this point i thought it was dry but it wasn't dry um if you touch it with your hands you'd realize that it's not dry but you know continue mixing it a little okay guys while i'm mixing that i have a little joke for you guys what did the baker say when he found his lost dough? Yeah, he lost his dough. What did he say when he found it? If you think you know the answer, comment down below. Let me know. I would be happy to have a laugh to hear the answers that you guys come up with. Before I give you the answer to the, the question and my little joke, <laughs> Um, I'll be adding some flour to the surface because we're going to be kneading the, the dough for 10 full minutes. 10 minutes! So you know that you're going to need to get your energy up and running. It's not an easy task guys. Not an easy task. So just get a clean surface for you to knead your dough properly. Guys, you can use your two hands, one hand. Just ensure that your hand is clean and you just get them in work those biceps work those triceps because remember it's for 10 minutes So while kneading it guys I realized that it was getting too soft in my hands so I got some more flour added to the surface and then I was good to go again. I you don't know I know how to knead flour because when you live in a culture where you know you have to eat dumpling <laughs> because, and you have to cook you know how to knead flour you gotta know how to knead those, that flour nice and soft. And I'm ready to go. All right, so while I'm kneading it, let me get back to my little joke. <laughs> I remember I asked, What did the baker say while he found his last dough, guys? He said, oh, That's what I needed. <laughs> You guys get it? That's what I needed. <laughs> That's a good one. Nobody can tell me that that ain't a good one. Yes, guys, I'm somebody who likes corny jokes. <laughs> I'm all for corny jokes. So, guys, I have a minute left, and this is how it's looking. A minute left to me. All 
All right, guys, so we're going to have some oil. We're going to add some oil to the bowl and then we're going to massage basically roll the dough in it so that it gets on the surface after we're finished doing that we're going to cover it i did it with a cling wrap so you can cover that with a cling wrap and then put it in a dark place to rest for about an hour. I actually placed it in the oven. Uh, of course the oven wasn't on at this point. So we just put it in there and let it rest there because that was dark enough. Alright, in the meantime you can prepare your baking tin. You're going to be basting it with some butter. All right, so get that butter all in. I think this prevents it from getting burned. And also, of course, the main reason to get the bread out easily after it is finished baking. Alright, so this is the dough guys after it's finished resting for the hour and you can see it looks bigger now we're going to punch out that air the gas that is in it or the air same thing you're going to punch it out use your knuckles to punch it out not really punch just press it out As you can see I'm putting it on a clean surface because we're going to roll it out so that it is flat and nice, okay? At first I was feeling a bit awkward doing this but as I went along I formed a little groove and I did it, okay? Alright, we're going to roll it, roll it from one end to the next because we're going to get it in the shape of the bread to put it in the, the baking tin. So we're going to do that, roll it away from you as tight as possible and afterwards we're going to take it up and ensure that we squeeze the end in. <laughs> I don't know how to explain this but you get those end in so that it is not too long just like that just like that just ensure that the end that is not folded in is at the bottom of the, the pan all right after you get it in the pan you can add some egg wash over it it will let it look really golden after it's been but I chose not to do that and you know baking bread it takes time because we're going to let this rest for 30 minutes before we put it in the oven so this is it after 30 minutes of resting and look how it looks it looks so bigger and fluffy and ready to bake we're going to preheat the oven at 360 degrees and bake for about 30 minutes. I'm so excited to see how this turns out. Guys, it's finally out. It looks amazing, of course. This is good old hard dough bread. We Jamaicans love our hard dough bread. No flimsy, flimsy thing. I am like, nobody cannot tell me that I am not a baker. I am not a real chef. So I, am the if. I am the ish. I am the You know, the saying that says, okay, it's gonna sell like hot bread. This is it. Hot bread. I can't wait to cut it. Alright, guys, so we are now cutting the bread. Look at that. Look at that. 
hard dough bread. Remember, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you enjoyed the video. It's always good to learn something new. And it was really fun. I think you guys should try it. And see you guys next time. Oh my god, I was told that time is up and I was always thinking about the time that you're cooking because my mind was far, far. Woo! Read up with